Hi lovely fire signs, Jenny here from Joy Energy Tarot. This is your intuitive guided reading for the month of September and I hope you enjoy it. And let me know what you think of this new setup, if it's better or worse, whether you can hear me properly. And I love getting your messages and finding out where you're watching from. It's really, really interesting. Okay, what's happening for you guys? Whenever you watch this is the right time. There's no such time in the spirit world. But in saying that, this is what's happening for approximately the first week in September for you guys. Ace of Pentacles. So you've got the beginning of something new that makes you feel safe and secure. I feel like you've been sowing the seeds out there and now things are going to start growing. Like you might have been networking or putting in hours doing something. You're going to start seeing the results from those efforts. And then you've got a celebration. So you're going to be uh, joining up with family, friends, um, people you're connected to and a happy celebration coming up. And then you've got the Two of Wands. This is where you're trying to make up your mind about something. This is where you are starting off on a new chapter. You're leaving behind the old and you're starting off on something new. But you can't make up your mind what direction to go in. And you're looking up to the moon and to the universe for guidance. You could have one foot stuck in the old and it's time to move forward into the new. And in that second week, you are feeling quite, ugh. It's like you're worn out. Things haven't worked out in the past. You're sick of things. But this is about doing something to lift your vibration because otherwise you're being offered cups, you're being offered opportunities, but while you're feeling down, you can't see them. So do anything to lift your vibration. And uh, it's you've got a few worrying cards this month. So so you're feeling a bit down and, you're, and uh, you've got the nine of swords. So this is where you can be overthinking things, waking up at night, what, wondering what to do. When you're like that, write down your choices to get them out of your head. And then you've got the star. So I feel like it's going to work. You've got the star card. You're being guided by unseen forces. Angels, guides, ancestors are looking after you. They're bringing you a healing. They're starting to make your dreams come to fruition. So don't forget to talk to them all the time to help you. Because then in the third week, you feel like you're sinking. This is like the five of cups is where you can be carrying a sadness or you could be just flat, worn out, and um, you could be looking at the glass half empty instead of half full. Remember to be grateful morning and night for all the little things in your life so that that lifts you out of feeling like this. Fives are a choice. You can choose to sink or you can choose to be happy. You can choose to change things. Choice, change, freedom. Because really, you only look at the lovely flowers. So focus on the good things in your life, not, not the bad. And then you've got the Eight of Swords. So this is where, again, this is a mental thing where you're looking at things um, negatively. Bare, um, you're thinking things are going to happen like they did before. And it's it's like change the way you think about things or change the way you're looking at things. And as soon as you change your perspective, the positive will start happening because you're feeling, this is a kind of just feeling trapped, but it's actually self-imposed trappedness. And then you've got the Six of Wands. So you're being told and reminded from the spirit world, you're very good at what you do. People love what you do. You could be getting recognized or certification for something that you do as well for some of you. And then that last week, you've got the Nine of Wands. So this is where you've been wounded, you've been hurt, you've been let down, you've been scarred. But those scars have healed now and now you're starting to grow, you're starting to move forward. So this nine, to me, nines are ending. So that's the ending of the rubbish. But you're just pausing because you're thinking, well, what am I going to do next? And then you've got the eight of pentacles. So whatever you want to work on, whatever you're doing next, put your bum down or your head down, your bum up, go for it. Work hard and you will get the results. So look at the butterflies. Some, some sort of opportunity here with the eights. Eights are karmic. So if you work hard at it, you're going to get the results. And this is going to transform you and transform your life. And then you've got the Knight of Pentacles. So information's coming in slowly and steadily that's going to affect your life and make you feel stable, safe and secure. Covering the whole month, you've got the Knight of Wands. So here's some information coming in really, really quickly. Something you've been wanting to hear. Woohoo, go for it. And then the Eight of Cups. And it's going to enable you to walk away from a situation that might have been holding you back, an emotional thing, something from the past. You're now able to walk away from that situation. But then you've got the Five of Swords. So this can be all about mental conflict. You don't know, uh, you're overthinking, but it's also usually about people talking about you or stabbing you in the back, 
um, not sharing information, dramas. So fives again, choice, change, freedom. Just ignore them, move forward, think of yourself and what you want to do. Don't worry about other people. And then you've got the king of wands because I feel that you are now taking control or somebody in power, a fire sign, is taking control. You are leading the way. You are the boss of your life. You are feeling brave, strong and innovative. And then that brings about, I feel that you'll either need a healing and a rest or otherwise you're going, this brings the healing and the rest. When you ground yourself and have a rest, this gets your thoughts back in order and back in in alignment and being able to see things clearly then you will see the guided messages and the guidance that you are meant to be receiving and you can't do that while your head's like this so you're needing a rest or otherwise this taking control is going to bring that healing and then what you don't see coming happening behind the scenes the magician things somebody around you or you are manipulating situations manifesting dreams are just as in touch with heaven as with earth lots of communication coming in and it's wonderful it's quite just sorry i'm just checking the time oh yep so the magician is great it's like new things starting to happening um happen and emails phone calls things like that are starting to happen now behind the scenes and then you've got the eight of wands quick success again lots of emails lots of communication rust rushed not rust, rushed off your feet, then the sun, joy, happiness, positivity coming your way, everything is wonderful, there's um, a lawyer or a teacher, a queen of swords here, who is involved in this situation, it can be you guys too, don't underestimate your own ability, you are seeing things very, very clearly, and then you're going to be very happy and contented with your money, ten of pentacles, got enough for everything you need, Okay, Leo, what do you need to know? You have got um, Medicine Mother, which is lovely. Your message from your ancestors is Medicine Mother. Honour your inner knowing, Leo. Take action. Do what you know you need to do. You've got an old pattern rising up now, and it's time to deal with it and release it for good. Okay, Leo? And your angel message is... Sometimes what you seek is as simple as being still and staying focused, okay? So I think that's what the overlying message is here where there's a lot of um, energy going on that can be quite negative. So it's about protecting yourself and, you know, feeling good about things, changing the way you look at things. Okay, Sagittarius, you've got Shield Maiden. Uh, 70. Whoops. Shield Maiden, um, Sagittarius. Make plans and focus. Have a plan or a strategy in place before moving forward. Taking some time to assess what your next steps will be. All great warriors have a plan, Sagittarius. And your angel message is, sometimes what you seek is as simple as being still and staying focused. Oh, the same as Leo. Okay. And Aries, you have got Spirit Fox. 74. So, Spirit Fox, trust your talents in changing times. There were two cards that fell out actually, and the other one was trust and thrive. So, Aries, your message is definitely about trusting in the bigger picture, trusting in the universe looking after you, having that faith and trust. So, stay alert as change is in the air. So by staying alert, being grounded like this sort of thing here, resting, recuperating and staying alert because you are getting messages and signs and signals from above. Okay, and your angel message is, like an eagle, it is your time to soar. Do not fear that you will fall. Woohoo, go Aries. Okay, lovelies, really good reading. A um, few things there that you'll overcome, or a few challenges, but I feel that you're going to do it. Okay, lovelies, I hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to leave a message and blessings to you all. See you all again. Kakiri and all. Bye.